what is the solution for us to get this country back to the way it was? I mean, I don't think it's ever going to go back to the way it was. I think as humans, we're constantly evolving. And especially like, I, I don't want it to go back to the way it was. I just want it to be better. Um, I think there's all this new technology that needs to be implemented within the economy, especially even like education and stuff like that. Like our education system's totally outdated. And that, the education is what's going to create the new leadership in the future. So it's like if our education system's flawed, then the leadership in the future is going to be flawed because they were taught in a broken system. So I feel like education is definitely a huge thing to begin with. Um, Teaching people how to do their taxes, teaching people small things like that, which you don't learn in school. They teach you how to be uh, a worker in school, basically, you know, and put you within that system. I feel like that. But they prosper more from that by having more people pay taxes. Do they or do they prosper? How to pay or do they prosper more when they teach you how to become a business person and you generate millions in revenue and you got to pay those taxes? No, because those people don't pay as much taxes. That's not true. It is true. Some don't, not all. Bro, but if you're providing if you're providing jobs and you're providing housing and you're like rich and most of your money is being made from investments you're paying less taxes than the people trading their time for money right well not 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 so always not always they're not yeah, bro it depends on your money strategy but if you are in the investor colony or investor category you're going to pay less taxes than you trading your time and that's, for money and that's still like as an individual percentage wise that's still as an individual when you start a business your business still has to pay taxes as well. Yeah, but you get a lot of that back. Sure. Or get deducted. Sure, but there's... You do write-offs. But still, like, there's... I guarantee you more people... Like, the the top 10% of the United States probably pays for 80% of the taxes. I think. You think? I Hell think. no. I think. I think the majority of us pay for the majority of the taxes. So the 90, Bro, the like lower the most, 90. The most taxed income is labor, is your income, like whatever you do for your job. It's not your investment. It's not capital gains. It's not any of that. Yeah. And that's how these rich motherfuckers become, like, stay more rich because they pay less taxes, which is okay. I completely get it. It's part of the system. But they... What I'm saying is is that the system wouldn't benefit or prosper as much if they taught us how to be successful people and be business owners. I think they they're much I, better off having you work for your money and trade your time for your money. That way they can tax you more. I disagree, but if that is the case, then I, like I said, not only the education system, but even the taxing system is broken. Which I already think it is. Everything is broken. Right. So I think it's about fixing like, or not fixing because it's never going to be perfect. There's no such thing as a perfect system, but always updating it and making it better to fit how society's changing. What's your thoughts on the American dream? I mean, back in the days when I first came to this country, the American dream was owning... A nice two-story home with that white picket fence, having your wife or your husband, and then being married, having like two kids, and just working basically a nine to five and being able to make good money, traveling when you want to, go on a vacation. Nowadays, I think it's just... you think that's still possible nowadays? Honestly, I feel like the American dream nowadays is being like a fucking YouTuber or content creator and living the lifestyle that people portray that they live online, like always traveling, always doing this, always doing that, popping bottles at the club. I feel like that's the new American dream. So the American dream has changed in your eyes. Yeah. So it's not 
having a house with a family, why pick a fence and all that. No, I, I think it's being financially free and doing what you want to do. Even though it's all, uh, most of the time, it's all an illusion. Yeah. I guess I can agree with that. I do think that the American dream has changed. I feel like the American dream changes every decade. Because last decade, I'm sure the American dream would be much different. Would it? And the next decade is probably going to be much different than just being a content creator slash YouTuber. I feel like it takes like... Just making money online. I feel like it takes like either like one and a half or two decades to really change that American dream. Because I could see how 20 years ago it was still more of uh, that white picket fence. And then I feel like since like 2010 it's been that whole social media hype and i could still see that yeah. sticking around for the next five to ten years yeah i mean or get even like because like i feel like most kids now they don't want to be astronauts anymore they want to be youtubers yeah for sure for sure and it's so i think it's only going to get more into that yeah like the american dream is gonna be fucking being a tiktoker and if you think about it like when it comes to like exposure and social media and having a following and a fan base it's almost like um uh what's the word i'm looking for like when like when your parents are rich and they give you money what's that what's the word i'm looking for inheritance inheritance because now, like, let's say if you're big on YouTube and you have a kid, you're going to make sure your kid gets a following, you know, so they're going to eventually get a following and then they could pass that following on to their kids and so on and so forth. So I feel like it's a new form yeah. of inheritance, like giving people your audience or giving right. your, your loved ones, your children, your audience. Yeah, but those the audience grows old, so maybe it's not going to resonate with someone younger i mean it, it, they grow old but there's always going to be younger people and i'm a firm believer that if you see somebody that already has a following online you're more likely to follow them as opposed to somebody that has no followers no yeah i get that but like i'm i'm talking about like transferring the followers to a, a new person well you're, you're not gonna get all the followers but you're gonna get some of them like i think you'll get a large percentage of them maybe not a large percentage but like 30 percent you know and then with that 30 percent you're gonna attract new followers mm -hmm. more your age and then the content that you create already you already have followers so that's gonna help people see who you are and take you more serious yeah. 